I'd like to welcome everyone to 1845's Publix Family Night. At this time, I'd like to invite Meryl Fraley from the College Park United Methodist Church up to the stage to give this evening's invocation. Okay, we're going to pray. I'm so excited you all are here because you are my new Publix. I live three blocks that way. So I can't wait to see all of you guys all the time. And like Publix, shopping is a pleasure. And my place, praying is a pleasure. So thank you for inviting me to pray for you all. Father, thank you for safely bringing us together this evening to celebrate among colleagues, family, and friends the opening of our new store and the tireless efforts of the individuals here tonight. It is so critical to have support and love with family, especially when we are away from home preparing a new store. And we want to express our deepest appreciation for our wonderful families and for you watching over them. Let us reflect tonight on the godly principles of our founder, Mr. George, including a spirit of servitude, respect, and for his associates and customers, so that we may continue to lead as he did and to always be our best and for you. For the blessings that you have bestowed upon each of us here tonight and for the future ones to come, we always say thanks. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Meryl. We are so thankful to be here tonight, surrounded by family and friends, to honor and thank you for all the hard work you put in to make this store look so outstanding. Just a few short weeks ago, the store was just four walls, the way the best equipment, the best products, and of course, the best associates. And look at where we are today. <laughs> Attending a Publix Family Night ceremony and having the opportunity to greet and welcome a new store team is a privilege for our Publix leadership. Our founder, Mr. George, Always enjoyed being inside of our stores, surrounded by Publix people, and saying thank you. And that culture lives on today. This evening, we have some of our Publix leaders here with us to help us celebrate. Allow me to introduce our president, John Golf. Our director of pharmacy operations, Whit Taylor. Our divisional vice president, Adrian Bennett. Our regional director, Trey Osteen. Our director of merchandising, David Hannigan. And your district manager, Carrie Tubbs. Now you're probably wondering why you're handed a ticket when you walk through the doors this evening. Well, tonight we'll be raffling off two $50 Publix gift cards for you to bring back tomorrow and use during grand opening. It's our way of saying welcome to your store and thank you. So everyone do me a favor, go ahead and get your tickets out. We're gonna go ahead and draw for that first card. John, can you pull the first ticket for me, please? Thank you, sir. Everybody got their tickets out? All right, our first winning ticket is 611263. store manager, Johnny Boswick. Thank you, Gordon. It's exciting to be here tonight as we celebrate our grand opening. It's been a pleasure working alongside the entire store team and the support associates these last few weeks. It's amazing to think what the store was only a few weeks ago and how it looks now. It's just a testament to show that with the right team, anything is as possible. At Publix, we pride ourselves on our ability to provide premier shopping experiences to our customers. Our team has the opportunity to provide, in our, found, in our founder's footsteps, the ability to deliver on that promise. We have the opportunity and we commit to that fact that we're going to be treating our, our customers like royalty. We hope that our... We hope that our customers will say that 
I only shop at my Publix at the Groves of College Park. Now, without further ado, let's get this management team introduced so you guys can have some excitement around how fantastic they are. Up first is our bakery department with our bakery manager, Ali Cordova. <laughs> Ali's been with Publix for 12 years, and she enjoys when she's not here traveling, cooking, and spending some time outdoors, and maybe a little photography while she's out there. Up next, we have our assistant bakery manager, Ryan Everhart. Ryan's been with Publix for eight years. When Ryan's not at Publix, he's always on a plane with his fiance, traveling the globe. Up next, we have our customer service department with our customer service manager, Julianne Barnum. Julianne's been with Publix for 14 years. And when she's not traveling or going to Disney, she's out oh. carrying a Starbucks as she goes about their business. <laughs> Up next, we have our assistant customer service manager, Chris A. Bear. Chris has been with for 10 years. And when he's not here, he's working on his motorcycle or riding around. He also enjoys photography when he has a free time. Woo. Up next, we have our deli department for their deli manager, Jimmy Petrick. Yeah. Jimmy's been working for Publix for seven years, and when he's not here, he's fishing, spending time with his wife, or maybe playing a game of hockey. <laughs> Up next, we have our sister Kelly Mander, Loretta McKnight. <laughs> Loretta's been with Publix for 17 years, and uh, the most important thing to her when she's not at Publix is her family. She loves to cook and spend time with them, and when she's not doing that, she's always out hanging out with the girls. <laughs> Up next, we have our grocery team with our grocery manager, Andrew Grover. <laughs> Andrew's been with Publix for 13 years, and when he's not spending time with his wife, preparing for a new baby, <laughs> he's cheering on the Lindy City Soccer team. <laughs> Up next, we have our assistant grocery manager, Charles Longacre. <laughs> Charles has been with Publix for eight years, and the most important thing, thing to him outside of Publix is the family that he's developed along the way. Next, we have our meat department with our meat manager, Betsy Frazier. <laughs> Betsy's been in Publix for 18 years. And if she's not fishing or cooking, she's building stuff around the house. Next, we have our assistant meat manager, Dylan Craig. Dylan's been in Publix for 8 years. When he's not fishing or golfing, Playing video games, he's going to be restoring some old knives. <laughs> Up next, we have our pharmacy team with our pharmacy manager, Tara Hall. <laughs> Tara has been with Publix for 25 years. <laughs> if she's not cheering on her son and her basketball as basketball games, she's either traveling or spending time in the, with their church community. <laughs> Up next, we have our assistant pharmacy manager, Alexis Jones. <laughs> If she's not doing DIY projects around her house, she's definitely traveling. <laughs> Next, we have our produce department with our assistant produce manager, Chris Haley. <laughs> Chris has been with Publix for nine years. If Chris isn't spending time with his dogs or golfing, he's always making great jokes. <laughs> Last but not least, we have our assistant store manager, Leslie Stander. <laughs> Leslie's been with Publix for 17 years, and if she's not here, she's on a plane going somewhere exotic and fun. We're all jealous. <laughs> all right, now that we've met our exceptional management team, I'd like us to take a moment to recognize all the family and friends of our associates and managers that we have here with us this evening to honor them for all the support they've been providing our store team over the last few weeks as they've raided the store for grand opening. All right, get your tickets back out. Johnny, you pull the next one ticket for me? Awesome, all right. So our next winning ticket is 611-350. there's our winner. Come on up, get your all right, it's now my pleasure to introduce our president, John Gall. Thank you, Jordan. And, and believe it or not, Jordan's only been in a job for like two months. And I distinctly told him not to do a good job, and he went up here, and that's pretty impressive. Most of us 
started here back in the cashier and didn't think we'd be here with a mic in our hand. So great job, MC. <laughs> single thing about all I know is everybody's traveling the world. I didn't even leave the United States until last year, literally. So my wife's listening to all that over there. So you know, people went to Italy. I took my wife to Olive Garden. We did the tour of Italy. But it's just my honor and privilege to be here tonight. Um, continue the, uh, the legacy that our founder, Mr. George, started. He believed in coming here and thanking everybody for the hard work. And thanking everybody for the sacrifice and just basically celebrating the new store. Um, and you guys met this amazing uh, management team. But what a what a privilege it is. And it says a lot about you folks. You know, we only pick the best of the best to open a public store. So congratulations to you guys for being selected and open. Now, you know, you met that team, but there's a whole lot of teams of people that work together to make this possible. You know, a lot of folks behind the scenes, you know, there's a group of people, if they didn't do their job and help get this facility built, we'd be standing here in an old parking lot. Um, so I just want to take a second to thank the facility construction team. They're usually in the back. Raise your hand, guys. Thank you, guys. We also have a great support team. I think the team over here would agree, the RCs and really the RISs are here for two or three weeks helping set this store up and really giving these guys the assistance that they need. So with um, Dave Hannigan, the RCs and RISs, please raise your hand. just want to acknowledge you guys for the RCs. <laughs> and that's kind of, we also have people in marketing. Everybody has a job. We have something at Publix we call One Publix with One Purpose. And really all the success we have is just a result of all the teams working together. And opening a new store is one of the best things about opening a new store is hiring new public associates. So I want to know who here is brand new to public. Raise your hand. I've got quite a few people. So and I know some of you folks are thinking, hey, I'm just a bagger, I'm just a cashier. Hey, this is just a, you know, it's just a job for now. You know, but did you know, you know, our CEO started bagging, you know, where's, where's Adrian? Adrian, where'd you start at? But he was better than me. I started bagging. They let him be a stock. <laughs> you know, where's the RD tray? Where you got tray? What'd you start at? Bagging. What about the DM carry tubs? Where you got carry? Where's you at? Stand up. Cashier? Yeah. Cashier. And I'm only tell you guys that I started as a bagger because we used to be you. If you said I was going to be the person up here with a mic and talking on family, I'd say you're crazy. But Publix is the one company that no one came here to be here, and yet we all stayed 40 years. So, you know, just find a place where you fit best. And, and kind of what sets us apart is ownership. If you're new, hopefully you've heard a little bit about, you know, us being a fully owned company. You know, we're the largest associate owned company in the United States. And I'll tell you how it started. In 1930, in the winter, hey, not that far from here, right? So the south of here. Uh, Mr. George opened his very first store. He left uh, another grocery chain he was working for because, you know, they, they wouldn't listen to him. So he goes and has two managers. They have four shares of public stock each, so they're the owners. But Mr. George had six other associates. Anybody know what happened in 1930? You're going to tell your age if you tell me. Mark, what was happening? Great Depression. Sorry to me to call you. But no one had any money in the Great Depression, right? And so Mr. George knew that. So this is what Mr. George did. He gave each one of those six associates one share of public stock for $100. And he gave them a $2 a week raise. So after a year, they'd be owners of Publix. And we still operate that way today on our employee owned program. You know, you just got to show up to work and contribute to Publix. And then Publix contributes to you. You know, I'm not one of these guys, guys. I grew up poor. And I never buy any public stock at home because I had money. You know, I'm the kind of guy, if I had 500 extra dollars, my car right down across $500, and I have 25 straight years. I don't know if anybody else has been there, right? <laughs> and at the end of the day, though, you get stock, you can't touch it. Because if I could have touched it, I would have spent it all, too. And so I have a lot of public stock just for coming to work for 33 years. So you folks have just started, find where you fit best. You know, don't be on your 10th job in 15 years or just get mad or, or something happened because... You know, stay with the company that will invest in you. So I also met my wife in Publix. Raise your hand, babe. 
She was, a, she was a cashier, I was a bagger, I was not her supervisor. So any, any HR people in the room would park out of breath. But, you know, also a bug with my wife. So I'm very blessed to be here. And so I really want to kind of, we, we do this on the ownership piece, just give you guys an idea of, of what ownership looks like and kind of give an idea of how many folks have been here since we're all kids. So if you've been at Publix five or more years, raise your hand, keep them up. You can see a lot of hands. 10 or more years, leave them up. 15 or more years, leave them up. 20, leave them up. 25 or more, leave them up. 30 or more, leave them up. You're officially old if your hand's up. So. <laughs> I'm proud of 35 years, leave them up. 40 or more, leave them up. 41. What do you got, 41? Who else we got? Who's hiding? How many you got, Crystal? 41. Well, Chris, we'll give Crystal a championship today. And Crystal, what did you start as public What did you start as? Bag or cashier. You know, it just kind of goes to show the, the people stay at Publix, you know, because we act a little differently because we own the place, right? And that's kind of why Publix people act the way they do. So, um, with that being said, there's no prize, Crystal, so it's just a, <laughs> and a round of applause for your prize. So, hey, let me ask Johnny to come back on the stage, shoot your wood. And Johnny, we have a key here that opens nothing. <laughs> but this part i got to read. i got to make sure I get this right, right? So, Johnny, on behalf of your DVP, Adrian Bennett, our CEO, Kevin Murphy, the board of directors and the 250,000 public associates present you with a key as your symbol of your commitment and ownership to take care of this facility, our associates, and for delivering world-class service to our customers in Orlando, Florida. Congratulations. Thank you. store has been given to Johnny and that means that this store is now ready to open. Yeah. On behalf of the management team and John, I want to thank everyone for coming out for our public spot and family night ceremony. Drive home safe and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning bright and early for grand opening. Yeah.